you're also going to have to uh, learn how to prepare a research proposal. And um, this is going to take different forms depending on um, who you're doing it for, whether you're doing it for uh, as part of your application, uh, whether it's part of an application to a university or to a funder. And different research funders require different things. So this is going to be a little activity, a short exercise um, that will help you do a better job at producing a research proposal. So let's go into full screen as we uh, just um, go through the different points. So the activity is to produce a research proposal following the guidance given below. Once you have this, swap proposals with your fellow students so you can get, um, you can review each other's proposals. Once you have received uh, peer review on your proposal, modify and refine. A research proposal is a very, very important document that provides a detailed description of your project. Proposals can vary in terms of structure, style, depending on purpose, methodology and audience. A good proposal should be clear, well written, well justified in terms of logic and method and have a clear timetable and budget. So, although proposals can vary, um, they usually include the, include the following sections. Okay, so there's a title which needs to be short and explanatory. They can hint at your research question or methodology or your research population. If you are struggling to choose a title, brainstorm titles and choose the best one. Background. This section should contain a rationale for your research, while you are undertaking the research, why you've chosen, why this research is needed, uh, a discussion could and should be placed within the context of existing research and or within your own experience. If you are unable to find other research that deals with your project, point this out. Illustrate how your proposed research will fill the gap and create new knowledge. The aim is the overall driving force of the research. So we've dealt with the title, and um, now we've got aims. This is the driving force of your research. And it is the means by which you intend to achieve the aim. You will need to provide one clear and succinct, which means short, um, and several ob objectives that relate to your aims. Your aims and objectives must relate to your research question and demonstrate how this will be answered. After you have done this, then you usually include a section on methodology that describes uh, your research methods and provides a justification why you've decided on this methodology and rejected others, how your methodology relates to your epistemological standpoint and theoretical perspective, can you foresee any problems, how will you overcome them, if you've chosen a less well-known method, you need to spend time justifying your choice. Number five, research methods. These are the tools that are used to collect your data and answer your questions. You need to illustrate how these methods relate to your methodology and discuss why they are most appropriate to answer your research question. The, I'm not going to go into details about timetable or budget, impact, dissemination, but I want to just point out that in almost all research proposals you need to include some references or bibliography. 
that contains all the literature um, uh, to which you've referred to in your bibliography. And the, bibliog the bibliography should contain all other relevant literature. Ensure that you use the right referencing procedure required by your institution. And for you to do that, you need to see lectures that I've done on EndNote. Okay, so let's, let's go out of full screen now. And so I hope that this exercise, these uh, talk points, will be uh, of use to you uh, when you get to the point of having to produce a research proposal.